According to Central Dogma, proteins are synthesized from RNA during the process of translation. Since it was believed that amino acids could not directly read the mRNA transcript, Francis Crick proposed that an adapter molecule would be needed to perform specific linkages. This adapter molecule, identified as tRNA, is charged with an amino acid via an enzyme called aminoacyl synthetase. Catalyzed by ATP, binding occurs at the three prime end of the tRNA. An important molecule in translation, ribosomes, which are composed of a small and large subunit, bind to the five prime end of the mRNA. This occurs through base pairing between the Scheindel Garno sequence and 16S ribosomal RNA. The process of translation is initiated when the anticodon of the charged tRNA binds to the start codon. As tRNA complexes add amino acids one by one, the large ribosomal subunit helps form the peptide bonds that link the amino acids. Next, factor binding and GTP activation help move the growing peptide chain over, thereby making room for the next amino acid. When the stop codon arrives at the A site, Release factor binding frees the tRNA to be recycled. Translation is complete and both the protein and mRNA are released. While there are 61 codons that code for amino acids, there are only 31 to 41 unique tRNA molecules. This can be explained by variability in base pairing at the third codon, known as the wobble hypothesis. One question we might ask is, what if something goes wrong during tRNA charging? Errors in aminoacyl synthetase function can result in mispaired aminoacyl tRNAs and erroneous insertion of amino acids in a manner not defined by the genetic code. Thus, we may observe a loss of protein integrity in certain diseases or defects.